Hi, in this lecture, we will be touching upon the concepts of finding an odd one out from the given options. This, these type of questions have a group of words from which, group of words or numbers from which you have to identify which option or which particular word does not belong to the group. This means that first you have to identify that that group shares a certain characteristic or relationship throughout which is not displayed in a one in one particular option. For example, if we take a look at the first one here, which one of the groups of letters is different from the rest? Let's see. We have AB, MN, PQ, GI and JK. First thing that we have to do in odd one out questions is to identify what is the characteristic that is common in all the options except one. Let's see. The first three options that I see, I see that A is followed by B, okay, adjacent alphabets in the English alphabet, okay. M is followed by N, okay, P by Q, G by I, okay, now I have a problem because it's G, H, I, it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, not G, I, J, K, this is also correct. So it seems like these four have a relationship or a characteristic in which these two alphabets appear in the same way as in they appear in the English alphabet. This does not. So this becomes our option. This is the odd one out from the given options. Now, which one of the following numbers is different from the rest? Question number two. Let's see. We have 12. 3, 15, 51, and 11. In the questions, you'll always find there will be a different relationship from what you have practiced. Probably you've practiced for prime numbers, even numbers, odd numbers. You've seen these in question. You try to see whether these are all odd numbers, whether these are all even numbers, whether these are all prime numbers, whether they're divisible by a certain number or not. But there will always be something that the question person, that the question maker can test you on. Okay, so the only thing that you can do here is practice and practice. Okay, for example, see here, we have 12, 3, 15, 51, 11. Now, 12, we say this is 4 into 3, 3 is 3 into 1, 15 is 5 into 3, 51 is 17 into 3, 11 is not divisible by 3, thereby this becomes our correct option. Now you can say that it's easy for me to identify that these are all divisible by 3. I can understand that because I have created that question so I know what is the correct way to actually solve it. In exam you will always find yourself confused as in which relationship is common between the different numbers. My advice is that if you practice more, you'll start seeing relationships, okay? If you practice more on the divisibility tests, if you practice more on the different types of numbers, if you practice more on the analogy type questions in numbers, then you'll be, you know, at a better, in a better situation to identify the odd one out in numbers. There are even different types of odd one out questions which take form of let's say biology or you know geography. They can come from any field. You have to be prepared for that. Now, Mizoram, Imphal, Nagaland, Assam, Manipur. Okay. Mizoram is a state, is a northeastern Indian state, Nagaland is a northeastern Indian state, Assam is a northeastern Indian state. Manipur is a northeastern Indian state. Imphal is not. So, Imphal becomes the odd one out. Similarly, humans, mammals, reptiles, amphibians. Now we see that mammals, reptiles, amphibians are all different. Now we can see that mammals, reptiles, amphibians are all different biological classes, whereas 
humans are not human beings are a species that belong to the mammalian class thus this is the way that you will be solving all the odd one out questions move on to the practice sheet best of luck